Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I am back with my first official video that my sit down talk to you guys official video of 2016. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and sticking with me and all of you new subscribers. Hello and welcome to my channel. So um, I thought it was only right to start the year off with setting some goals um, and kind of let you guys know what to expect from me during this year and um, also some personal goals some career goals and everything in between so if you're interested in what my goals for the year are just continue to watch let me put this little disclaimer out here having new year goals new year resolutions pretty much the same thing just me i pride myself on being very goal oriented and i know if i say these are my goals rather than new year's resolutions i'll stick to them because i'll be like ah that was a new year's resolution like i've been saying i was going to lose weight every new year's resolution that shit hasn't happened yet because i like food <laughs> but like i said i'm gonna set goals for the year because just to me in my own little mind um i'm more likely to stick to them if they're goals another thing is i wrote them all down on paper in this little notebook right here i heard somewhere if you write them down you're more likely to stick to them post them up somewhere where you can see them every day doesn't hurt to try Anything that'll help keep you motivated, me motivated, I'm all for it. So that's what I did. So let's start with goal number one, which is to better my marriage, be a better wife, um, do more date nights and stuff like that. Because um, I have been married for eight years. I'm only 27 years old. I got married at 19, but me and my husband has been together since I was 14. He was 16. So in order to continue to have the kind of marriage that I have, it takes a lot of work. A lot of people ask me, how have you been married for so long? How do you guys um, seem to have like this perfect relationship? We're not perfect by far. We argue and everything else. But at the end of the day, we love each other. Our marriage is very important to us. Um, it's something that we both like to work on. Marriage is very easy to get into. It's very hard to keep. So you have to work on it. You have to continue to date one another. You have to continue to um, be as open. So I definitely want to continue to make my marriage better. Continue to work on us. And just try to be the best wife, spouse partner that I can be. Two is to get back into school. I know I recently graduated last May with my ADN. I am a registered nurse for all of you who are new but um, I want to go back and get my BSN because there are other job opportunities that I want that you just can't get with your ADN and also the pay is better let's be honest. So <laughs> I definitely want to go back to get my BSN. Number three is I guess we can play off of the whole I want my BSN because I want new career opportunities. I love working in the ICU but um, my work schedule is very strenuous and it is very difficult and does not really work with my family's needs. Um, I am gone. I'm working a lot because when they tell you you work three days and then you're all four days that's a load of BS. It doesn't work like that and I am also required to work every other weekend and just the way my boys schedules are and the activities that they do and you know just my schedule currently just does not work with my family needs and I like to keep my family first and right now my job is pretty much coming first and I just have to find something that better suits my family. So number four is something that we all set at the beginning of the year, which is to lose weight. Guys, I've been trying to lose weight since before I had my second son and he is freaking six years old. But I'm honestly tired of this weight. I am so over it. I can't even tell you guys the last time I shopped for clothes. And I love shopping for clothes. I just don't feel comfortable in my clothes. I don't like the way stuff looks on. I like wearing scrubs because it hides everything. Um, and I just don't want to. I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be like that. I hate going certain places because I don't want to get dressed up and. It shouldn't be like that. So I really need to lose this weight. I know I didn't gain the weight overnight. So I'm not expecting to lose the weight overnight. But I do have about 40 pounds that I need to lose. So I'm going to set little mini goals every month to kind of chop at that number. I'm not expecting to lose 40 pounds in like four months. I am looking to lose 40 pounds within this year. 
and I also want to work out the four days that I am off even though they're not consecutive days the days that I'm off work I do want to work out those days and start meal prepping a lot more because my meal prep game has been like non-existent do you hear me <laughs> So number five, I want to start getting more focused on my YouTube channel. I have went back and looked at some of the videos that I've been posting and my channel has completely did a 360 from what it started with and it is not even intentionally. It just happened that way. I've been posting a lot more nursing videos, a lot more vlogs, um, a lot more beauty like makeup videos and very slim to none hair videos which my channel is a hair channel so I am definitely going to put that as number one on the list you guys are going to get a lot more like tutorials hair care tips and tricks uh product hair product hauls I still am going to do nursing videos but I figure I can do like two nursing videos a month and maybe update you guys with my weight loss um maybe once every two to three months but majority of the videos that I'm going to start pushing out are going to be hair related videos because that's what my main purpose of my YouTube channel is and I don't want that to be lost. Six is going to be to start a hair blog. I previously had a beauty blog which was princessg.blogspot.com and honestly guys I hadn't updated that thing in like a year so when I finally remember my login I have completely erased everything. I've changed the domain name. Currently in the process of turning it into a hair blog. Once I get everything up and running the way that I want, I will come on here and let you guys know. And the purpose of the blog is going to be because I cannot post everything on YouTube. There's just no way I can do that. Um, and if I try a new product that I love or that I hate, I can post it on there. If I am rocking a new hairstyle that I just don't have time to film, I can take pictures and post it on there. I also want to do interviews with like other YouTubers um, and other beauty bloggers on like why they started their hair journey, favorite hairstyles. Like I have so many ideas for my hair blog and um, I'm just trying to get everything put together and hopefully within the next couple of months I'll have that up and running and I will definitely come to you guys and let you know the first day it goes live. So make sure that you're subscribed so you won't miss anything. Number seven is to get more organized. I am so unorganized. Days that I film are just days I'm like, mm, let's film. I don't have a planned schedule for anything other than work. Work is the only schedule that I stick to. Other than that, I'm like, uh, I'll schedule my dentist appointment mm, two months from now. If I want to be like that. I definitely need to get my organization up to par. Number eight, financial management and saving. So um, what I want to start doing is every month, like doing kind of like this financial planning book where every month I kind of put out what our bills are versus what our income is see what we have left for like splurging what needs to be put into the savings account um we do save money but i feel like we can save a lot more than what we currently do um and also we eat out a lot which costs a lot of money and that goes along with my meal prepping um i want to start you know meal prepping to save money as well so that we're not like oh i'm freaking tired and i don't want to cook so let's go out to eat so I just want to, you know, better manage my money. Better better money management needs to happen um, within this year. Nine is to do more fun family activities. We do a lot of stuff throughout the year, but my boys live, eat, sleep, drink, piss football like football is a major part of their life my husband is a youth football coach it is a major role in his life which means it's major in my life uh, our Saturday is when football season is in is youth football college football Sundays are NFL football Monday nights Monday night football Thursday nights Thursday night football like it is all football this year we definitely are going to try other sports other than football and also get them more active in the activities that goes on in San Antonio. San Antonio hosts a lot of stuff um, along with like uh, professional NBA games. There's a lot of stuff that goes on at the Alamo Dome. Um, the uh, new aquarium has now opened that we haven't been to. So I want to get them more involved in stuff other than football. So 
that's going to be very hard for me to do and get my husband to do but we have to start doing other stuff and um, I think they'll have fun doing it number 10 last but not least is going to be to travel more um I know this is probably on everybody's list but I definitely want to travel more um and I just want to go more places because last year I literally cried when I got enough days off to go home to visit my family because I literally went nowhere and did nothing. It was school and then work and my freaking work schedule is so hard for me to get consecutive days off to go travel and I definitely want to go travel. I want to go to New Orleans this year. Um, I definitely want to go back to Vegas, probably take my husband for his 30th birthday, as well as I want to um, do a pop-up trip in Philly with my cousin. I have not been to Philly since she's moved down there and she's probably been down there for like 11 years already. I want to take my boys to Slitterbomb, Slitterbomb in South Padre Island. So there's a lot of places that I want to go, a lot of stuff that I want to do, and I am determined to do all of it this year. That is it for my 10 goals of 2016. I know this video is kind of long. Hope you guys stick with me till the end. I just want you guys to know that there's so much that's going to be coming to this channel. I really hope you subscribe. It's free. All you have to do is push the button and you will not miss any videos that I post here. Please follow me on all my social media. I'm very active on Instagram and I'm very active on Snapchat. I'll leave those links, names somewhere up in here and make sure that you guys go follow me. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave it below in the comment box. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.